All right, everyone, we're back here in the next video. We're outside of the Keystone Citadel and we're in the Keystone Monastery now. We're going to traverse through all these towers, looking at all the corners and finding everything we can. So let's head over to our save point and then, uh, let's see, develop our character. Okay, we've got some attribute points to spend, put them in faith, get my faith up. That's funny, I had one left over I didn't actually spend the last time in the last video. That's silly. I'm right, out of... How much? It uses all my energy to do that? Interesting. But if I use... If I do two-handed... I have a little bit left. Ah, well that's good to know. Oh, that was a nice miss. Yeah, let's see if I can get both these guys. Oh, yeah! The ram goes through multiple enemies. That was sweet. Oh! Hey, how's it going? There we go with the backstab. Excellent. Let's see if there's an item here. Yes, there is an item today. I swear sometimes there isn't. Backstab. Gosh, I keep doing like a really slow roll. It's annoying. I need to take off some of my armor. Let's send a ram at, him, at you. <laughs> I totally came up short. That uh, was silly. Oh yeah, we got to go. We came up here so that we could flip a switch to open up the gate to get to the next, uh, to this monk up ahead. We have to cut his arm off of to save him. Go down the stairs. Boom, 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 boom. Up the stairs. Look out for this rogue. There we go. Gotta love that ram spell when you've got enough faith for it to do something. The ram spell does not scale on faith, just the quake spell. And I believe the gauntlet scales on faith, if I remember correctly. The mysterious gauntlet that we'll get up ahead. So before talking to this monk, make sure you have a potion to give him. It'll actually be permanently removed you from your inventory. Help me. But it's worth a payoff in the end because later in the game you'll meet him and he'll have you clear out his laboratory and then meet you in his laboratory to um, empower your potions so that they do more regeneration, more health regeneration per use. It's pretty awesome. Separate the poison limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You will see the judges soon then. I can't. It's in your hands. I'll do it. Right. On your head be it. The... Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. No problem. Wait. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please. He's put into prison. He's got all those tattoos on his face. Find yourself a healer. You need someone to patch you up. He didn't put them on his face. The prison did. The authority. and yes, you must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory. The laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it. All right, we'll take this potion. Take this one. So now I only have five. I did have six before we started talking to him. Let's go through here and clear out. All these spiders. These things are so annoying. Spiders are just tough. Those little ones are okay, but the big spiders? Oh, that's why we gotta wait. This come back to that cellar that was in the um, the Keystone Citadel. Sorry, couldn't think. Uh, where are you? There we go. 
All right, here's a monk that'll give us a side quest that isn't very useful for us, but I just wanted to show you guys anyways. Don't hurt. I won't hurt you. I've no... You have. There are demons infesting there are this whole place. Everyone took ref and but I can't. Keep an eye on the markings. Okay, so he's gonna give me a trinket I need to put on. Which, by the way, I, oh yeah, I did, I did put on Faithful to Stifle, but for now we're gonna put on Guide of Antennas, so the or yeah, I'll just do it now, so that we can see the markings. There's three of them, and then we'll report back to him that we've seen them, and then he'll give us um, another trinket that's not of much value for our build, but whatever. It's fun collecting items, right? Jeez. Let's see if I can get a few of you in a row. Oh, all three. Crowd control. Nice. Alright. This chest contains some of the best armor in the early game for a warrior. If you're doing a two-handed build. Here's the first sign. If you wear that full armor set, you'll get a bonus damage for two-handed weapons. That's why if you're a warrior two-handed, it's awesome. I'm trying to sneak up on this marauder, but keeps walking away from me. Come back. Ah. <laughs> I was too slow to get to you, wasn't I? <laughs> and I missed. Let's heal up so that- oh gosh, come on. Why am I so- I'm trying to heal up here. What did I do to make myself so heavy? I really need to change that. Yeah, that's totally unacceptable. I don't understand. I guess it's just putting on- was I always that slow at rolling and I just didn't realize it? Well, I do have some light armor. There we go. I'll just go with that for now. All right. Cruise down here and collect some stuff from this uh, this rogue. Let him swing about. Now I need that shield up. Oh, I don't have enough magic right now because I have all these stupid signs. Oh, because I want to go get the gauntlet first. Duh. Come on, let me get a backstab on you. There we go, right to your face. I'm gonna get the gauntlet and then I'll come back and deal with that stuff. And make sure, make sure you're healed up because you, there's gonna be an archer and a rogue coming up and they're annoying to deal with simultaneously. I wonder if we can just pull the rogue all the way back out of range of the archer. Here's that mysterious gauntlet. Sometimes in my game right here, there's a little glitch. And what's happening is that a tutorial window has popped up and it wants me to progress, progress and I have to press the A button even though I can't actually see that I'm supposed to do that. All right, let's take these guys out. Is that rogue gonna pop up? Yeah. Let's just run away. There, see? Getting hit by that archer is truly obnoxious. Gauntlet to your face. Um, no backstabbing, not today. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go back down in here. Ninth night on watch. Who's how could the Rokar get inside the sacred walls of Keystone? Aren't there infected or something lying around here? I'm all suspicious. So we're gonna use a rune to open up this chest. I think it has what I wanted. One of the things. Live elements. Okay. 
So Live Elements is an armor set that gives you, let's, I'll show you. So there's poison defense here. When you have the whole set on, you'll have a uh, magic fire, or not magic. I think you get fire, poison, lightning defense as a special bonus. Um, but overall, it's a pretty decent set for medium armor build. And we will find the last piece of that not too long from now. Gosh, that is such a slow roll. What if I... Yeah, all right, here. <laughs> There's an infected. Smash. Okay, I thought that there was another chest in here. Well, he's giving me something. And that's locked, of course. Oh, so he gave me a small rune um, to open that chest with, in case he didn't already have one. Oh yeah, so we're coming full circle here. Uh, so let's jump back out, go topside. I'll show you how to open that gate that's locked. And maybe we should take out this archer along the way. And we'll get those the rest of those signs. Hi, archer. Let him shoot his arrow. Ah, come on. I couldn't see it. It's so hard to see. Okay. Let him do his thing. There's a sign. Mighty Antanas. My research is over. I dare and here's the third sign. This gauntlet does only one thing. Open this up. But it does it rather well. It eats hatred like a hungry lion and okay. spits it out. Like so a just dragon. ahead is going to be an archer, and maybe we can sneak like up on him. Horrible weapon. But his soul must not be pure. A shattered soul will make the most out of this device. No. There we go. Got him anyways. I wanted to see, sorry, if I skipped anything here. This, no, there's no chest. Anyways, this is connecting back to where we found the live elements, and there's a locked door that we'll come back up through later. Okay. Oops. I want this. I want two hands. There we go. All right, so we're making our way back to that monk in a roundabout way that gave us the side quest to look for the signs on the walls. Here he is. There were three signs left by an I found them. Found all of them. Let me show you. There were other refuge rooms. I don't think that anyone made it there. I pray for their souls, but they won't need their worldly goods anymore. This item will lead you there. Goodbye. May the judges save me from the demons. So the trinket he gives us, I'll show you, is the compass and it vibrates when you're near a secret or it also resonates, it makes a sound. Um, but I'm going to put back on Faithful Disciple so our magic regen is up to snuff. Okay, there's, oh, there's a little shard for us to pick up, an item. So we're going to continue traversing areas we've already been. And in just a second, we'll be in a new spot. Keep going. Keep going. And we're going to go here and meet Yucca. Where is it? Where is what? Back off. This doesn't concern you. I don't know why Harkin isn't wearing the armor set. What was that about? They're liars and worse or is besides. He? Not only did they <laughs> steal the my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. The pathway? A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets. And secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. Book? Are you sure those friars stole from you? I've always taken them for book burners, not lefties. Don't be a fool. The men in here are just as twisted and corrupt as the people outside. 
I bet Antanas, this savior, allows it. They've bled the villagers dry over the years. They think people forget that the truth gets buried with the bodies they helped create. But they're wrong. I know what they did. This is a monastery. <laughs> no women allowed. No criminals allowed either, but here you are. If it's to be an inquisition, tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. Alright, let's go. leave. Suit yourself. Enough of that. Yetka has a dagger hidden somewhere. We'll go find it and return it to her and she'll give us the key to the catacombs. Even though we're not even though we're not going to use the key to the catacombs because it's just too difficult to go there right now. If we went there right now, um, it would just be a total grind. But, I don't know, if this is to your liking, on the other end of it, you'll be uh, out-leveled for the most of the game. <laughs> or at least the first half of the game, you'll just out-level everybody else. Sorry, I think I said that backwards. You will be stronger than everyone else. So now I'm just going to dump points into spells so that I can try to work our way to Quake now that we have our Faith up 18. It's kind of a good number. It's also one of the level requirements, one of the tiers for a requirement when you start spending your points, your spell points. All right, the archer left us something. And you know what? I'm actually going to stop this video right here. I think this is a pretty good spot because um, now we're going to go through all the South Watchtower stuff and I'll show you everything that's going on in there um, in the next video. So happy gaming and thanks for watching.